This is Seychelle Van Pool with Van Pool Properties in Keller Williams in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, and I'm here to give you a very quick housing market update with what's going on in the North Texas region. The national average has recovered 12.2% year over year for the housing market according to the Case Schiller Index. The Dallas Fort Worth market has recovered 7.6% from last year to this year for the housing market economy. Now what that means for us is, is we, unlike a lot of the other parts of the country, did not see a massive fall, crash, and explosion, right? On average, when we hit the bottom at 2009, we were down 11% compared to where we were at the peak in 2006 and 2007. Now if you're a seller, you're thinking this is great news, right? We are officially, and let me say officially, Dallas-Fort Worth is the first major metropolitan area to reach peak market values from 2006 and 2007. We have officially hit our housing market recovery and are now, anything we gain above this is considered to be higher than where we were at the peak. Hooray! So if you're a seller, you should be very excited about this. Now if you're selling and buying, or if you're a home buyer, you're thinking, uh-oh, housing prices have gone back up. Did I miss my opportunity to buy? Well, let me do a little math for you to show you that what it would look like if you bought at the peak in 2006, 2007 versus today with those same housing prices. If we take a look at 2007, the average interest rate was 6.7%. If we take a look at today's average interest rate in 2013, our average interest rate is 4.75%. That's an average difference from July 2007 to July 2013 of 2% on interest rate that you would be paying on your loan. Now let's take a look at what that would look like. I'm doing numbers based on $200,000 home price, which is very close to what our average is in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, 5% down, conventional loan, and we're looking at someone with an average credit score of 700, so I'm not needing you to be prime, A plus paper, perfect. Now if we take a look at that, let's take a look at what that means. In 2007, your payment on that loan would be $1,851. Today, if you got that exact same loan, your payment would be $1,610. That is including principal interest, taxes, and insurance, so all-encompassing. Now, when you think about that, that is a difference of $241 a month. Now, if we take that over a year, right? A year is gonna put that at $2,892 a month. Think about that, that's a vacation, that's a car payment, that's a Roth IRA contribution, that's a child's college fund for the year, right? As we're contributing towards that. Now let's take that over the life of the loan. If you paid that out over the life of the loan, you'd be saving today versus 2007, same housing price, $86,760. That is a lot of money. That's almost $87,000 saved over the life of the loan. So I want you to say to yourself, if you're thinking, what does this mean for me as a buyer? As long as interest rates stay low, now is the time to buy. If you are interested, there has never been a better time. Make sure you're taking advantage while these interest rates stay low. We're anticipating through the end of the year that will be the case, but that we don't know after that. So let's get out, get your deal, and make it a good day. Thanks.